Hello guys, um, it's me, I'm back again, uh, and hello to my new video about the Recipe Pi Zero. I'll show it to you. This is it. It's super small. As you can see, it has um, two micro USB ports and one micro, uh, no, mini HDMI port, which is kind of unhandy because now you have to switch between your mouse and keyboard every time you want to use it or you want a uh, powered USB hub but um, it's the smallest Raspberry Pi ever ever made so far uh, it's kinda awesome uh, I'm running Raspbian now uh, yeah let's try it out I've got my mouse connected now uh, but if I want to type something in I need my keyboard so I'll have to switch the USB things in the Raspberry Pi which is unhandy. Also I don't have internet because you then also need a uh, USB hub or no you need a USB hub. Um, yeah there's not much to explore I can let a little Minecraft run. It's kinda fast. Yep I died. Here look at this that is, it's not slow, and the processor is like 50%, well not not now, now it's 30, but if you do something it's it's becoming 50. Um, so it's more powerful than the first Raspberry Pi, but of course it's less powerful than Raspberry Pi 2. Um, I didn't really feel the difference yet between a Raspberry Pi 2 and a 0, but that is definitely because I don't have internet on the Raspberry Pi 0. So, um, yeah, there's, oh, now I can't get out of this, yep, now I have to connect my keyboard to it, mm-hmm, 10 out of 10, best game, there we go, and now I have to connect to my mouse again, see, it's very unhandy. And I don't like it. But hey, who am I to? Um, yeah, it has all the, the web browsers. Uh, it has it's everything you normally get with Raspbian. Although you really need to use BHOP to, to use more. It's really weird. Uh, LibreOffice Writer. This is kind of slow, gotta say. Oh man. By the way, thanks for our 100 subscribers and thanks for 100,000 views. That's a lot of views, buddies. Man. I don't know why you keep watching my videos, but. Kind of boring, I guess. Uh, now I'll have to connect my keyboard again. Uh, sorry. Um, there it goes. Awesome. So, um, hello. Hello. Well, it works. So you could you, you could use it as a writer. You wouldn't recommend it though, because you need to switch between a mouse and keyboard every time. Or of course, if you have a USB hub. But there's my zero is uh, super handy for robotics or something. If you Imagine a little robot, but the rest by two or the rest by one, uh, except for the A plus, second one is kind of small. But they're all really big, and the USB ports are also really big. But this one, look at it. These USB ports are so small. You could use them as in, in a little robot. This is a USB. So normally you have these these massive things on it, but now it's so small and. I mean, I don't build robots or something, but I can see why it's handy. I can definitely see why it's handy. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for uh, coming by, and uh, I hope you liked the video. Um, again, thanks for the subscribes and uh, the views. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.